And um, I think Uber is making a very, very dangerous move here by forcing UberX drivers to bundle shared drives, not making an option to switch off shared uh, rides, right? Which most 99% of the drivers would have done anyway. Um, if you were given the option to switch off shared rides, who would take a shared ride? You're doing double the amount of work and your safety is tanking, right? You have two strange parties in your car and we've all learned that shared rides are a disaster. So Lyft made the smart move of abolishing shared rides, pooled rides. They got rid of it, right? Because they actually listened to the drivers and the driver said no to shared rides. We're not going to do shared rides. So what does Uber do? As of today, 6-8, right? As of today, in multiple cities, Austin has been texting me. Atlanta has been texting me in like WTF. WTF, what is going on? They are bundling it, right? So they're forcing UberX drivers to take shared trips. A complete disaster. So imagine you're on the Excel platform. You have a minivan and you're on Excel. And in the quiet times, right, in the quiet times, many of those XL drivers, right, would include X trips because it's just quiet. In certain areas, in certain times, XL drivers often switch on X. Now, the way I understand it, you're an XL driver. In quiet times, you're switching on X, and now suddenly you also have to accept shared trips, right? Because shared trips have become one and the same as UberX bundled into one. Disaster. Absolute freaking disaster, right? Now, I also ask you, how do you, how do you interpret the trip, right? I mean, how dangerous are you? You're looking, you're driving, next trip is coming. Now you have to determine, is this X? Is this a shared trip? How much information is disclosed? Are they being rather secretive? Again, your eyes go off the road. You now have to just like trip radar figure out this shit while you are driving right is this a shared trip uh you know no you know i'm not going i'm not going to accept it so your acceptance rate is going down and down and down because they're throwing all these el cheapo desperado shared trips at you people that cannot even afford x are now taking shared trips so you're getting the riffraff the scum of the scum excuse my language right people that do not want to even pay x rates are, are now expecting you to pick them up absolutely not absolutely no right we don't do shared trips the ceo david rish of lyft understood that oh drivers don't want shared trips so what is Dara Kosha, shall we do? Oh, great, this is an opportunity. We are now going to push and force UberX with share. Good luck, Dara Kosha, shall we? You are going to see A, how many drivers you are going to lose, B, how drivers are, you know, really start scrutinizing and not accepting. And the moment you get penalized, let's say, say they fully deactivate you because you have stopped accepting shared rides, right? Your acceptance rate is going down and down and down because you absolutely refuse to take shared rides, right? Then, so are you then going to wrongfully deactivate an independent contractor who should be given the freedom to pick and choose when he or she wants to or doesn't want to take a trip and what type of trip they want to take, right? Are you going to now deactivate them because the acceptance rate tanks because they are not willing to take these stupid, unsafe shared rides. It's a disaster waiting to happen. And again, if they do deactivate you over this, come to us at gigrocket.com. You know, we'll file, help you file the suit. If, if they wrongfully deactivate you because you are now starting to um, not accept the combination of X and share trips when they arise, then just come to us and let us hit them with a hammer. Don't do it, right? Don't do it. Just like, okay, I, I just see, A, it's a safety factor. You're working double as much 
doing double the amount of work. The only beneficiary here is Uber that gets to sort of double charge both those people in your car. You're doing more work for the same type of money. Makes no sense whatsoever. This is an automatic, sorry, not accepting. And if you mistakenly, if you mistakenly accepted this one, cancel it, cancel it, right? So I see your acceptance rate tanking, right? Not gonna accept as many trips anymore because they've bundled them. And I also see your cancellation, your cancellation rate going up, right? And as an independent contractor, again, the company should know that an independent contractor works independently, makes his or her own choices. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they do not treat you. They like to label you. They like to label you as an independent contractor, but they don't treat you as an independent contractor, right? So we have 103 people in the house. Please, A, like the video. The more likes we get, the more viral it goes. And then I ask you to share this, right? Do not accept these shared trips. So they're trying to, while you're driving, they're trying to bundle with UberX's shared trip because they know, ladies and gentlemen, bless you, they know we will not, if we have the option to switch off shared trips, we will switch off shared trips. They know that. Lyft knows that. They got rid of shared trips. It's a disaster. Now, Daryl Koshishawi wants to force you to take them. Nada, niente, nichts, niet, no, N-O spells no. Don't do it. Don't do it, my friends. Don't walk into this dumb trap. What saddens me is that while you're driving, you have to figure out now, oh, here, here comes a trip. What is this? What is this? Is this an X? Is this an X or is this a shed? So you, 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 your, 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 your concentration is taken, bless you too, my friend. Your concentration is taken off the road. It's the same with trip radar. You've got to make these quick, quick decisions while you are driving in mid traffic, right? Danger. They know this is dangerous. And they yet they're still forcing you to make these dangerous decisions while driving. And I refer to Trip Radar and I refer to this new bullshit that they have bundled together, UberX with shared rentals. I am getting texts and emails every corner. Hey, they rolled this out today. This is bullshit. We don't have the we don't have the opportunity. We don't have the capability of switching this off. They're bundling it together. Watch how disastrous this was. This is greed of its finest and late, later on you're going to see another video sadly which is also going to hurt drivers right this year by the way hits drivers in the pocket you're earning less you're doing double the amount of work and it and it makes it so crazy unsafe it is not safe to have different type of bodies in your car i tried out a couple of shared trips they were disastrous the one guy and the other guy actually almost started to battle in my car right it is dangerous it is disastrous they know it however this little hoe called dara will bend will bend and grab the soap for a penny he will take a penny from anyone to appease to please his investors right total bj mode right total bj mode with his investors i will do i will literally suck anything for you for an extra piece our safety and they're forcing us to do the most idiotic stupid non-money making things while we are driving i mean i that's it wrapped up into one sentence ladies and gentlemen i am furious i am furious about this right if we are independent contractors we should make a decision. Do we want to take pets? Yes or no? Switch off the pets option. Or yes, I will take pets. Switch it on. Do you want to take shared rentals? Yes or no? Switch it on or switch it off. You as the independent contractor should be able to make these decisions. These decisions should not be forced on you. Dara, Koshra Shawi, Tony West, Nelson Chai, 
and Hazel Studebaker, whatever the other idiotic executive trash members. Really, you are forcing people who are making you the money, who are paying yourself, you are forcing them into dangerous situations. To, you're forcing them to take non-paying, more non-paying trips. And it gets worse, ladies and gentlemen. It gets, we are angry. I am angry. It gets worse. Today, they announced, go on to Google, put in Uber News, do yourself a favor. Look at what the main headline is today. Look at why the stocks spiked up a little bit. Because Uber is literally, literally taking the Turo shared model. Sorry, I'm going a little bit off track here. It's, it's a video coming out tonight, right? They are literally taking the Turo model and are offering, like, offering you to rent out your car to their base of riders, right? So this is going to diminish trips for drive. This is going to take away trips for drivers because they are introducing another model where you can take any car, just like you do on Turo, you can put it on the platform and then they will take a fee for brokering your car so that another rider, maybe two streets away from you, can book your Toyota Corolla or can book your Tesla. What does that do? It cuts out the driver. Now, this is a driver channel. This here right in front of you is a driver advocate. Do I like that model? No, I don't. Do I like this bullshit wrap it up shared rentals with UberX model? No, I don't. It's trash, right? It's trash. Should not be allowed. So you will see tonight I come out with this other video. I mean, you, you don't get me wrong. They're going to make a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. I have tried out several cars on Turo right? They take a pretty hefty fee, a pretty hefty brokering fee. They have, I think, 2.9 million users on their platform. They have hundreds of thousands of cars that they facilitate. Uber is going to literally break into that market. And I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if Uber acquired, bought Turo, because Turo, I hear, is going public. They're making a lot of money. They are going public. I would not be surprised if Uber acquired, made an acquisition and bought Turo. I see that coming. Now, David Risha, if you are smart, if you want to counter that move, right, go and buy Turo. Take it away. Do exactly what I shouldn't be saying this, right? I shouldn't be saying this because this model is cutting out drivers. I shouldn't be promoting this. I shouldn't even be saying this in the first place. But I can see David Risha maybe going out and acquiring Turo and duplicating the same model. Uber literally wants to make every person have their car facilitated on their platform so that the rider can say, hey, I'm not taking a driver today, but I'm going to go and rent that Prius for very little money. Who's going to suffer here? Avis, Hertz, Enterprise. Happy about this, right? So it's like, do you think that Avis and Hertz, who are making tons of money through Uber and Lyft drivers, do you think, and, and they've, they've, they've forged these relationships, they've formed these relationships with Uber and Lyft, do you think that they are happy that Uber now is cutting into their own market and facilitating Joe Schmo's car on their platform so that another person can come along and get a cheaper rental? That's literally contradicting that relationship that Uber or Lyft has with Avis or, or Enterprise or Hertz. It's basically saying, okay, we will sleep with you in both beds. We will facilitate your cars on our platform, but we'll create a platform that works against you, right? Sorry, that was all about the car shared rental program, a video coming out tonight. I'm just prepping you, but let's go back to shared rentals. Uh, let's go back to these shared trips. Two complete foreign bodies, two complete foreign parties in your car, right? A recipe for disaster. Back in 2016, I, 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 did, I didn't read that. Um, I, I don't want to take my, I'm sorry, I'd, I'd love to read that out loud, but I'm I'm in heavy, heavy, heavy traffic on the 405. 
one, two, three, four, five, six lanes of traffic, heavy traffic. So yeah, I would like to look down there. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, all I can say is, all I can say is, if they are forcing you, again, they're educating the riders. Oh, by the way, we have this cheap option back. It's called shared rentals, right? I mean, yes, people will take advantage because they are saving money. These are the cheapest of the cheap asses, right? That will take shared trips. I mean, shit, if you, if, honestly, if you are w willing to share the trip with some other maybe stinky B.O., dude and just to save a couple of pennies or dollars like how desperate are you as a rider seriously how desperate are you how desperate are you as a driver if you actually accept shared trips i mean it is the ultimate desperado drivers that will accept shared trips don't do it so what your acceptance rate goes down what pisses me off here is that you have to make decisions while you are driving. It takes away the concentration from the road. Your eyes are supposed to be on the road. Your hands are supposed to be on the steering wheel. And now you have to make these decisions. Oh, here comes a trip radar offer, an auction offer. Let me take my eyes off the road and figure out the math. Okay, here comes a share trip. Let me figure out, is this an X trip or is this a share trip? Because they're trying to trick me by bundling it together who knows how they're going to present that information to you when the ping is going off does it say hey this is a shared trip right somebody somebody send me a screenshot when that goes off please send me a screenshot for example and atlanta austin rolled out today six eight today it's already active send me send me the screenshot of what that offer looks like when it goes off on your phone when it pings does it clearly show? Bless you. Does it clearly show this is a shared trip? Does it clearly show? Or does it make it difficult for you to figure out is this X or is this a shared? Because if they are making it difficult, it's dangerous. You're driving. Now you have to make split decisions on the road while you're driving. Oh, is this X or is this shared? I got to be careful here that I don't accept, I just say, nada, niet, no, nine, no, right? Cut it out, nichts, Ni absolute nix in Dutch, N-O, don't do it, don't do it, don't accept shared trips. Smash that like button as hard as you can, it looks like we've got 97 awesome people in the house, smash the like button smash it hard I'll also be announcing soon the dates for the national it's gonna be beginning of July hint hint we're gonna hit them hard nationally have to push out the press releases get the flyers get everybody on board right I ask you do not compromise your safety right your safety you are important here right you are important Cynthia says hi everyone you come first you're the numero uno so why on earth am I gonna have two potential problems in my car called a shared trip a rider sharing a trip with another rider disaster a recipe for disaster recipe for disaster Guys, check out in the back. You see those? Those are 37 by 13.5 by 17. They're $500 each. They are Mickey Thompson. You can look them up. Mixy, Mickey Thompson Mud Terrain. They're going on my Bronco. Somehow they censored the dates. What was that about? Sorry, can you repeat that? <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. You know that feeling? When it goes down the wrong pipe. I 
I mean, Darrow will do any type of pipe. He'll, he'll, he'll suck on any type of pipe. He will. For a penny. I'm just sucking on my water. Oh, it was muted. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we're talking about strike. Hint, hint, beginning of July. Hint, hint. You can hear me? Thank you. Audio is great. I love it. Thank you for that feedback. That's what I'm waiting for. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. Hit the like button, ladies and gentlemen. We're on 67 likes. Let's get it up to 100. Thank you very much. I, I do have navigation on, so sometimes navigation interferes with the video. Um, what do you think about this new shared, Uber X shared? Lyft is smart enough to abolish it, and Uber says, hang on, we'll bring it back. Not only will we bring it back, we will bundle it. We will bundle it with Uber X. So now they put in the same, and like, like in, in, in Florida, they took out Lux, and they were bundling Lux Black with other categories. Um, constantly effing around constantly effing around and experimenting with drivers right this this is no good my friends to bundle x with shared rise to force an independent contractor who should be able he or she should be able to make his or her own independent decisions right you should be given the opportunity the chance the functionality to switch off shared rides to switch off pet rides to switch off trip radar rides you should be given that in your preferences and your settings no what have they done they are forcing you to take x with shared while you are driving once again you have to make split second decisions and I say absolutely not. Go ahead, compromise, compromise your acceptance rate, drive your acceptance rate down, drive it down. If everyone works together, if everyone says no to shared trips, what can they do? They can't go ahead and deactivate hundreds of thousands of drivers because we refuse to take shared, uh, shared rides. Shared rides are dangerous. Shared rides, ladies and gentlemen, do not make you money quite the opposite they make you drive more miles for the same so for the same type of money right putting in more minutes more miles for the same type of money the only true beneficiary here is uber because they are going to charge rider a and they are going to charge rider b that's why they like it that's why dara will bend for the soap for any penny Hit the like button. 75. Salute. Salute. Nastrovia. Chin chin. A votre santé. Cheers. Prozit. Cheers, my friends. <sighs> Happy Thursday. You, you can't can't opt out of it. You can opt out a pet. The, the Atlanta and Austin driver said can't. It's bundled. Bundled into one. They're now forcing drivers to bundle it into one. Me personally, I will never ever take a shared trip. So do I have that function? At, um, do, do I drive UberX? No, I don't. No, I don't. Have I taken UberX trips? Yes, I have to, you know, to learn about the, especially when I had a Uber XL, I had, I, uber suv and then i tried out uber xl and uber xl you can switch on the functionality on x now as an xl driver if you leave the functionality x on you are automatically also supposed to as an xl driver accept shared trips what the heck i mean how low do they want to set the bar for x and xl drivers A lot of XL drivers will revert to X in slow times. If it's slow and you're not making money, okay, I'll s switch on X. Just, just to get a money, just to get a trip, just to get out of this slow area, slow time. 
However, if you're an XL driver now and you're switching on X, you're toggling, switch it on. Now you're supposed to be accepting shared trips as well? What the heck? I mean, it's pathetic. Every email and every text message, I'm just purely, purely going on <clears throat> what drivers have, have sent me today because it started today, 6-8, right? Today is 6-8. They said, right here, professor, they are bundling X with shared rentals. So I am purely basing this video on the feedback of a lot of emails and text messages. People are pissed rightfully pissed they're not treating you as an independent contractor they're not allowing you to make independent decisions they are forcing you to do something you do not want to do that that that's not that's not an independent contractor that's not and you know allow me to rage allow me to rage about this and get angry i mean i have the right to get angry because it's just another way this company has figured out to f-u-c-k over the driver i mean every day is another surprise for a driver how am i going to get reamed today i wake up how I, how am i going to get reamed on friday friday how are they going to screw me on saturday how are they going to screw me over on sunday every single day you have to worry about how these companies are going to shaft you and extract another dollar. It's wrong. 79, help me get it up to 80. Where are we right now? <coughs> trying to figure out where we are. Oh, we are rolling past Carson. Car Nashville is bundled. Thank you, Nashville. Thank you for that feedback. Nashville is bundled. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Atlanta bundled. Nashville bundled. Austin bundled. Soon every city bundled. Forcing you, the independent contractor, right? You're an independent contractor. No, we will not treat you like an independent contractor. We will force you to make decisions that we want. So with how on earth? And that, that, by the way, is a great angle in small claims court or in arbitration. Your Honor, they wrongfully deactivated me because I, my acceptance rate was low. I refused to take shared trips. I should be an independent contract. However, they are forcing me. You'll win all day long. You'll get damages all day long. So more, more small claims, more lawsuits coming your way class action attorneys this is not independent contractor freedom this is forcing the driver to work outside of his or her boundaries by forcing them to take shared trips it's wrong and they will lose if they go to court they will lose so i'm just waiting for those class action attorneys to line up on this one Power went out, Ryan. Sorry to hear that. I am right here by Westminster, driving past Kia in Carson. Anybody know that Kia? Toyota in Carson, Fletcher Jones. Maybe somebody's bought a car there. Honda in Carson, we're passing it right now. Heading to Long Beach to drop off four tires. Bullshit. Number one bullshit guy. Darakashashawi. He do the wee woo wee woo. Number one bullshit guy. Darakashashawi. Number one bullshit guy. Need to boycott. Need to strike. Need to protest. Say sorry. Have to get the media involved. Sorry. It's another great reason to strike. You're not treating us as an independent contract. You're forcing us to make decisions against our will you're forcing us you're forcing us to act against our will hit the like button 80 we've got 80 likes in the house thank you salute nasterovia chin chin prosit cheers 
Prost! Nice, take your chauffeur class, become a private driver. Take that chauffeur class, ladies and gentlemen, on Gig Rocket, you will not regret it. There's 300 minutes, it's only $69, 300 minutes, and it teaches you how to become a true 100% independent contractor building out your own clientele, right? Received raving reviews worldwide, all major cities, people from Sydney, people from London, people from New York, Chicago, you name it, have taken the course. Right? You will learn so much. You will know a lot. Don't get me wrong. I know you will know a lot, but you will learn so much additional information. Right? Honestly, the private chauffeur class at Gig Rocket. You don't have to deal with this bullshit. You don't have to deal with the constant headaches of Uber and Lyft. I'm all for taking their clients. I'm all for recruiting clients away from Uber and Lyft and make my own clients all day long, all day long. There is a technique, there is an avenue, there is a way to do it. There is a way to do it. And then it's just referral after referral after referral after referral. Referral is the best. If you have good people referring good people. <clears throat> Already right on the boundary of Long Beach, Pacific Avenue. Anybody know it? 710. Yeah, for private rides, you need better auto insurance. And honestly, with private rides, um, for example, in California, you have to produce a commercial insurance. It is so much more expensive. It runs you about nine, ten thousand dollars a year. A year, right? It's almost like it's almost like a thousand dollars a month it's very very expensive but the state will force you if you want, want your transport charter permit or your tnc or whatever it's called they will force you to get commercial insurance way 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 at least triple as much as regular insurance three times at least that is the biggest expense when you unfortunately the biggest expense Becoming a private driver is your commercial insurance by far, by far. I mean, you got your, your, if you have an SUV that you're financing, sure, you'll have a very high monthly fee, maybe a thousand dollars, but you will easily pay the equivalent. If you're paying a thousand dollars to the dealership to finance your car, I will guarantee you'll be at paying at least another thousand dollars just for your insurance. So, you know, factor in two grand a month right there. But there are days, ladies and gentlemen, where I make $2,000 in a day. So if I'm making $2,000 in a day, thank you very much. Car payment done, insurance done all the time. Yesterday was a huge money-making day. Today is another huge money-making day, right? Both over $1,000 on each day. So to me, those insurance costs or car payments, unless I'm buying the car cash at auctions, I prefer to buy the car cash at auction, at cash at auctions, a dealership auction to get a crazy good price, you know, 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars under the regular price. <clears throat> I'm not a big, not a big fan of financing. I don't want to pay those high interest rates, rather do cash, 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 cash. But if you are going out, getting yourself a Suburban or an Escalade, You'll be in for $800 to $1,000 on the, on the SUV payment, and you'll be at least in for $800 to $1,000 on the insurance. Just know that. That's the only, the only negative in this business. And then it's just money. Just money, 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 money. Easily, 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 easily can say, just doing this part-time, not, bra not breaking my back. Few trips in the morning, few trips in the evening, at least $200,000 a year. At least $200,000 a year that I make from this business. A lot of that is in form of tips. A lot of that is cash or Venmo or credit card payments. A lot of it is cash, right? But nothing under $200,000 a year as a good, good private chauffeur. Nothing under that.
No, no, you can you can earn a hundred grand in rideshare, but you'd be you'd be driving day and night. You'll be driving 70, 80 hours. I do a fraction of that. I do a few hours in the morning, a few hours at night. Good paying, excellent clientele who are not shy to pay a price. It's easy. Just follow my formula. So back to X Uber X shared trips. It's amazing how quick Dara Koshashawi jumped on this when David Risha said, no, we're not entertaining shared trips anymore. I think it was a brilliant move. And right away, this guy jumps on it and says, we are going to do shared trips. And by the way, you don't have a say in this. You don't have a say, Mr. Independent Contractor, Mrs. Independent Contractor. We are going to bundle those trips into one. Disaster. Effing disaster. I've got to actually drop into auto zone in a few minutes. I have to get this black, what does it call that? Tar that you put underneath the undercarriage. I've got to put it underneath my Bronco. It's like a black rubberized tar. You can, I don't know if you've ever used it. It's so freaking messy. You could put it on uh, with a brush, but man, you got, you'll be black afterwards. It's terrible. Cleaning, 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 cleaning your, your body from all that shit. I'm going to be rolling into Long Beach at our shop in a few minutes. Anybody's down there, drop in. Got 88. Give me a, two more likes. Dos por favor. Zwei bitte. Deux s'il vous plaît. Tuer a se belief. One, two. Dos por favor. If you can, give me two more likes and we're on 90. We're on 89. Thank you. Uber bundled X shared the same day CMA Fest starts. I mean, it is dangerous. What's also dangerous is here you are, you're driving and you get a ping and you know it's an Uber X trip. Okay, look at it, do a quick calculation, accept or decline. Now you have to differentiate. Now a trip is coming in, right? You're an Uber X driver, you're driving and like, okay, what is this? Is this a shared trip? Is this a regular trip? You have to basically not accept while driving, constantly bombarding you with shared trips. And there you are while driving, no, not accepting, not accepting, not accepting. Not. So yeah, your, your acceptance rate is going to tank. It's going to tank. Who is going to take a shared trip, honestly? 95. I love you guys and girls. 95. We need five. Five more. Woo. Five and we're on 100. I'm pushing for 100. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Let's get it up to 100. 96, yeah, yeah. Four more, quatro, por favor. Un, deux, trois, quatre, s'il vous plaît. Un, zwei, drei, vier, bitte. 97, three, un, zwei, drei, bitte. In, two, three, as a belief. Three, two more. Love it. 98, baby. 98 likes. Thank you. You rock, 99, 90, 99, one more. Oh, we're on 101. We are on 101. You guys made my day. You made my day, all of you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you all. Be safe out there. Say no, say no to shared trips. Please, my friends, why would I want to do more driving, more miles, spend more minutes in my car for the same type of money? The only person, the only company that benefits is the gig company. They take the money. Why? Because they are invoicing. They are charging rider A and rider B. Do you think you are going to get your portion from rider A and from rider B? No. It is literally the biggest double dipping, scamming type of trip out there. Shared rentals. It should be banned. Lyft banned it. Lyft said no. But Dara Koshashawi, the royal cocksucker, the royal blowjob master of them all, will suck any pipe for a penny. Any pipe he will suck for a penny. Right? No offense to gay people. No offense. I'm just saying. I'm trying to inject some humor here. 
What I'm basically saying is Daryl Koshishawi is so desperado, he will do anything. He will bend for the soap. He will wash the floor. He will clean your toilet for a penny. That is Dara Koshishawi live. Never forget that. Never, ever forget that. Right, and then he has two kids from his first marriage, not taking care of them properly. Two kids from the second marriage. I mean, this guy is the biggest cheap ass. He brought his mother on, his mother, his mentor, and said, my mother will not pay more than 15 cents for a cup of coffee. This is your mentor. This is the person that trained you who will not pay more than 15 cents for a cup of coffee. Jesus, show me where you'll get a cup of coffee for under 15 cents. Show me, Dara Koshashawi. Well, Dara Koshashawi probably knows, probably knows on this planet where he can get a cup of coffee for under 15 cents because his mother told him so, because his mother trained him so to be a penny pincher. And that is how he is treating you and I. He is the penny pincher king. He will pinch any of your pennies. He will steal them from you because that is how he was trained. That is how he was mentored by his mother. Just as stingy as he is. Yeah, terrible, 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 terrible behavior. All right, now I got to hustle almost at auto zone. Auto zone. Got to get this black tar. Black tar. Remember that song by Ray Shremmett, Black Beetle? I love it. Damn, why is my car so cold? Think of the air conditioning on. Brrr, it's freezing. I have these um, four huge, huge, huge off road tires. They are. 37 by 13.5 by 17. So they're about $500 each. Mickey Thompson mud terrain. They're going on my Bronco. There's the cops. The police are out. Long Beach. Ooh, pulling over. Pulling over the drivers. Pulling over the gangsters. He is a cheap person. He's a cheap ass. He will bend for any size soap, ladies and gentlemen. He will bend. That's who he is. The cheapest of the cheapest, scammiest human beings. Dara Koshoshawi. Forcing you, forcing you to take shared trips. Shame on you, Dara Koshoshawi, for forcing an independent contractor to do things against their will. You're not treating us as an independent contractor. No, you're not. Again, you're not treating us like an independent contractor if you're forcing us. So shout out. This is not my sponsor, but huge shout out to AutoZone. I'm sure every one of you has picked up, you know, go down here, make sure you replenish your liquids, your windshield wiper thing, get synthetic oil. I mean, th this is like, this is like my second home. I'm almost here every day, every day. AutoZone, get in the zone, AutoZone. Get in the zone, auto zone. We are live, we are live. Making a video live, YouTube. Get in the zone, auto zone. Looking at me like, just having fun, just having fun. What do we need? Look at this ladies and gentlemen, freaking the people out, freaking them out, yeah. Get in the zone. Where the fuck is the stuff? Where is it? We need, I'm looking for the tar, the black tar. Where is the black tar? We need the black tar, ladies and gentlemen. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Is it here? Is it here? Fiberglass. Get in the zone. This is cool. I'm gonna get this sucker, big one. And then. All right, my friends. 
get in the zone, order zone. Appreciate you all. Have a good one, my friends. Take care. Shout out. Stay safe.